what do I need to do to update the desired state image on a VLCM or vSphere Lifecycle Manager enabled cluster? Let's quickly hop into the updates tab. This is where we will see the current desired state configuration. And we quickly notice that all the hosts are actually compliant to this specific image configuration. I'm already running vSphere 7 update one, but I want to deploy the latest patch. So I just select this dropdown, select the latest patch release, hit validate, because I want to check out if my image is still valid. It looks like it is. So let's move ahead and save this new desired state configuration. Saving the desired state configuration will immediately enforce a compliancy check. So we'll simply have a couple of seconds to wait until this finishes and we'll already see some interesting information. So we see some settings that are being checked like quick boot and if it is supported, yes or no, what will happen with the specific host during remediation and we'll see the drift comparison basically stating what is running on the host currently and what is now in the image version. So we'll run a pre-check to make sure everything checks out. During the pre-check, VLCM will check all the workloads running inside this specific cluster as well. It'll check if it can enter maintenance mode on all the hosts. If you, for instance, use direct path AO on one of the hosts, it'll let you know what specific virtual machine is preventing that host to, to go into maintenance mode. So stay tuned for pre-check to finish up because it will help you to make sure that you can remediate the entire cluster. All right, we waited a couple of minutes and no pre-check issues were found. So we are good to go to start remediation. Let's hit that remediation remediate all button and we'll be able to review the remediation impact. Now this is important because we can see it on a summary level, but also on, uh, on a host level, what will happen with this specific host. So all the running VMs will be migrated. It'll enter maintenance mode. The host will be installed with the new desired state image. It will be rebooted and the host will exit maintenance mode. The applicable remediation settings are important because if your host supports quick boot, it'll be able to leverage that with VLCM as well. So make sure this is enabled. I accepted the terms. Let's start remediation. Again, this will take a couple of minutes to finish up and we'll be able to, to track the status of the remediation in this specific screen. And there we go. We just witnessed the, all the hosts being remediated and we see that the remediation is completed successfully. So all the hosts are now running this new desired state image. It was never easier to update all your hosts and create that level of consistency from all the components in that desired state image. Thank you for watching.